Someone asked in our social media, how can I do some simple math operations from the FreeDOS command line? Well, Jerome Shadell made a really cool set of utilities called the V8 Power Tools, and one of them is a tool called VMath. And if I just do type on vmath.en, this is the help screen for vmath. This is the FreeDOS help directory. As you can see, uh, it advertises it's meant to be a super simple math utility. And in fact, it's it only works on positive integers uh, that only go up to 32,077. So, uh, you know, not meant to be a full-on calculator, but it's a great way to do some automated math calculation three dots and line. As you can see, we can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. We can also do Julo. We can also do some basic binary operations like AND and OR and that bit shifting. So for example, let's just do a couple of uh, very simple arithmetic operations. And so I can do B math, uh, just do one plus three. And of course I'll be getting the four. I can do multiplication. I can do V math thousand and we'll multiply that times two and that'll be thousand. And if I do division, well, let's do a division here and we can actually see this only operates on integers. And so I do V math, on three divided by two, and that's gonna be one and a half, but this only works with integers. And so the answer there will be one. Now this only works with positive values. So you do need to be careful about subtraction. If I do VMath, uh, let's say 12 minus 10, well, the answer to that's gonna be two, because that's the integer. But if I reverse those two numbers, and I do VMath on 10 minus 12, well, that'll be a minus two. But this only operates with positive integers. You're going to get kind of a weird number there, a decimal. So be very careful. You're only uh, working with positive integers. And this is actually pretty good if you're trying to do some screen resolutions or some other kind of uh, calculations for maybe sizes of things and like that. If you needed to, you could also do some binary operations. You can see we've got and or. Uh, we also have some bit shifting. And so, for example, I could do a, a VMath on the binary value of one and then shift that to the left by two. And so if I end, if I start with zero, 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 one, and I shift that to the left by one, that'll give zero, zero, one, zero. That's going to be the value of two. And I shift it to the left one more time. It's going to be zero, one, zero, zero. Well, that's the value of four. So one shift to the left by two will be four. And so you can do uh, the other way around. You can do VMath uh, with the value of four, and we're going to shift that to the right by two positions. And so that one, zero, zero is going to go to zero, zero, and then one. So value one. You can also do some binary operations. And so you know that uh, if I do VMath on, let's say, uh, three, and we'll say and two, well, the binary representation of three is one and the binary representation of two is one zero. So I'll be getting a result here of one zero, which of course is a decimal value of two. Go decimal value of two. And if I were going to combine, let's say a different kind of operation here, I can do a um, VMath of uh, one and four. Well, that'll be the uh, four, of course, is one, zero, zero, and one is zero, one. And so now I'm going to end up with an and here of actually neither one of those bits will, will match up. And so that'll give me a zero. But if I do it as an or, so VMath one or four, well, now the one, zero, zero will be with a binary or of zero, zero, one. And so I'll end up with one one and that's five. So VMath is a really useful tool if you need to do some simple arithmetic operations, basic binary operations. And it's a great way to add a little bit of uh, basic math operations to the command line, or more likely if you have a batch file that needs some kind of calculation, size or capacity. So what'd you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, before I go, I wanted to thank everyone who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel. Uh, some of you are sponsoring me at a higher level, and I wanted to recognize
well. Visit our website at freedas.org, join us on Facebook, follow us on Mastodon, and consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.